Today we have a Bob and Brad percussion massager. It comes in a very nice carrying case, slightly firm. Inside we have the instruction manual, some replacement grommets for the head attachment, and several heads. We've got a large sphere that's slightly padded, a smaller sphere, again, same kind of padding, a flat top, kind of a, a point massager. I don't know if what you call this shape. We have the comb. And then we have just two prongs, kind of like a fork. It does come with its own charger using a proprietary connector there. And here is the primary unit. At the bottom we have our charging port and a solid on off switch. In the opposition you've got two screens. The first one on the left is going to be the power setting and it goes pretty high. The panel on the right is the current state of charge. It looks like it tops out at 20. All right, let's get this out of the way. She's going to go ahead and turn that on at the very bottom, same place where you plug it in. Yay! And there's the power button, which actually activates the percussion. Once the percussion's activated, you can use the plus or minus to get higher or lower speeds. Let's see how it feels. All righty. How does that feel? Can you dig in deeper? I can probably turn it up. I can hear it kicking up. How does that feel? Pretty good. Oh, cool. I made up some oobleck, so just cornstarch and water, so we can see how this actually works. There's that. All right, let's go ahead and grab our device. I'm going to start off with the fork, the prongs, and I'm going to do all these tests at 10 just to compare them all. Let's get a little bit closer. We can see how this propagates through. So we got two pretty deep contact points that move out concentrically. Now let's go ahead and swap the prong out for the comb. And as you can hear, that took seconds to swap out. Again, we're going to be at 10 level power. Again, we've got two rings, but they're not quite as concentric. There's a small in between the two as well. It's a little bit more even massage there. For our next head, we're going to slap on the point massager. And you got one real tight circle that goes pretty deep. You can see that's uh, deforming that oobleck pretty quickly, pretty deeply rather. Next up, we have a flat, the flathead. This is my personal favorite. A very wide area of effect. And if you had an angle, you can really push material around. Let's just see this one at 20. So it is deeper, but it's not a whole lot more, not a whole lot wider. It is affecting the material much deeper though.
Next we have the small sphere. And we've got a pretty even circle, pretty tight. But if you're at an angle, you can see you can really transfer the force pretty, pretty far. And last, we have the large sphere. And again, similar, almost identical pattern of the small sphere, just, well, larger. The more shallow your angle, the further you can push the material around thus transferring that massage either along the muscle or into it, depending upon the angle. Now, as the connector I was telling you about, those spare parts, those are used to fit in there.